This one... This is like the ending here, guys. This is the final battle. I'm assuming. Yes, this is the final battle. It'll take care of the maid, Mr. Big Nose, and another bloody death sore. Yes, a bloody death sore typically is the last boss from what I've seen in every Zoids game that I've been playing for the GameCube. Which, in case it's this one in Zoids Battle Legends, I don't know about Zoids Legacy from the GBA, I never actually finished that one. But, you can tell it's a bloody death sword. Now, this attempt took me 5 million tries, no joke. I tried almost every Zoid that I owned, like from the Shadow Fox for its speed, to the Kinnig Wolf to its power, to the Liger X to his blade ability. But then I realized that the boss you cannot touch, and the blade's only useful for that. And then there's the Kinnig Wolf where his sniper would be better, but it, you can't stay you can't stay still, otherwise you'll get bombarded with missiles. So it's pretty much useless. The Liger X. It's not really plausible for this because the blades won't be useful for these guys. And not for the bloody death sword, so there really isn't too much of a point to using any of these zoids. I went back to using my original zoid for two reasons actually. One, because of its uh its its laser nest, because it stuns the enemy, and I really need to put the blade death sword, and two it's nice to use, you know, the first Zoid you use against your rival, so I mean, it's pretty much slightly epic, but I, I know it's a jerk move on my part, but it was all I could use, you know? Because th this battle, I, literally, what you're seeing now is an hour of footage condensed into however many minutes this video is. So... Imagine that. Imagine my frustration with this thing. It's because the only the problem I have is with all the missiles that are coming at you. It's not just the Zoids themselves, it's just what they're equipped with. Like the Blade Desaur is equipped with many, many arsenals, like these homing missiles, and then the charged particle beam, and then you got the the shots in the back. And then you have the little made Miss Made Zoid, which has many Kobe missiles, and then you have the completely idiotic Zaber Advanced Zoid, which just tears you to shreds regardless of like where you are and what you're using. So I mean, you're bombarded by all sides, so my suggestion is to take out those two guys first, and or you can do it a different way. There's two ways to do this that I realized during my hour one of this. One, you can destroy those two guys and defeat the Elf, the, uh, not the Elf Shores, so the Blade Death Sword by itself. Or two, you can keep them alive, which is going to be, which is the hardest part. You can keep them alive and run around the Blade Death Sword and have them help you defeat it on, you know, accidents and such. Like, like when you, like when we destroyed the hover cargo, when I got the Elephanters to destroy their own hover cargo. Basically the same concept. So that's the harder one. I went about the easy and chicken way. You wonder why? Because I can. Now this laser nest isn't going to last much longer, but as you can see, it's a lot easier for me to kill because of, it, it stuns the it stuns the enemy. It may take a while, but it'll stun them. It'll take one or two shots. I mean, it's not too much of a problem. But you know, it it does the job. I'm not going to complain, even though it doesn't take out too much. This guy is a tank. He is annoying. I thought the Ultra Source and the Command and, and the Enemy yeah, Command were uh, the Iron Cons were bad. Oh, it's almost dead! Finish it. Finish him! Fatality. The Rye dies or he dies. Which I really don't want the. Which I really don't want to die. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the boosters, in my opinion, are very well useful here. Only to get rid of the homing missiles on you. Basically, I don't use them now unless I have to. Guess what? We defeated the bloody Death Sword! And it's little henchmen, boys. Oh, <sighs> finally! Success.
Yeah, mission complete. Well, you wanna know what? That was the hardest mission in the game. I don't care what anybody says. Usually, for me, the, the last mission is the easiest, and you have one or two little jerkish levels in the middle. But yeah, the final mission is actually the hardest mission this time. I was like, is there any more? Is there any more? But yeah, that's pretty much it for Zoids vs. 3 battle mode. Then you got a little epilogue here about what happens after the fights. Mr. Big Nose and all these guys. It's like, yeah, we saved the day. Now we're gonna go to the bar and drink some grub. And yeah, drink some grub. Eat some grub and drink to our heart's content. So yeah, that this is the ending to Zoids vs. 3, guys. It was short, kind of, and sweet to the point. So yeah, there's our awesome... Yeah, I, I think it was pretty much epic to use the first Zoid that we had for the last mission. You know I quite used them a lot and I apologize for it, but... I, I tried many other Zoids for the recordings and I really couldn't do it too well, so... I switched and... so, whatever. But yeah... And so Zoids Battle Legends is done, Zoids vs. 3 is done, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do any other Zoids games, at the least I'm probably not, I do have Zoids Assault, but I'm, I can guarantee nobody wants to see that, cause that's not really a good game to let's play. If you don't know Zoids Assault, it's basically a tactical strategy RPG, think of this Gaia or any other Final Fantasy Tactics or something like that, but for Zoids. That's pretty much it. Zoids Legacy is fine, I suppose, but I can't really get a good emulator. I can't really run a good emulator for that, and I can't really record emulators yet. It'll take some time for me to get used to recording emulators. I'm still practicing. But I did have the original cartridge to Zoids Legacy, but I don't know where it's at. We, we moved, and then we moved back to our house, and all my Dreamcast games were going except for Grandia 2, which I will be LPing in the future, and uh, it's always Legacy, which is really weird. It's like the only GBA game I lost. But I had everything else. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this little segment of Zoids. And again, I will do different bonus contents for Zoids versus Zoids vs. 3. Zoids Battle Legends and all my other Let's Plays if I ever have any bonuses. But, the time will only tell when I will upload them. So, until then, this is Sky signing out, saying thanks for watching, and I'm signing out to Zoids vs. 3. Catch you next time on a whole new LP. Or maybe Lunar Legends. Or Pokemon Ruby, who knows? Until then, take care, guys. Enjoy your day.